love it, make a good meal of it, stick to your old-fashioned beer. Now don't be afraid of it, drink till you're made of it, now all together a cheer. Hey everybody, once again it's Mark here, your one-take beer reviewer. The guy who's on the internet as Bureaunaut.com, talking about beer, things Chicago, and uh, so on and so forth. And I have another beer that's been sent to me by the brewer for my comment, and why not? Um, but uh, because it's nice and hot, and as you can see, I'm doing my, I got a picture coming up of this, my uh, usual dry rub, or as my family calls it, my candy pork chops. It's time for another summer beer, and uh, I just happen to have the Paulaner Hefeweizen beer, the German Munich wheat beer, as they call it. 5.5% with a lot of wheat malt to it, and should have some uh, special yeast that will give it kind of a uh, spicy and maybe a banana y flavor. Do not have a good a big uh, Weizen glass, so the closest I am able to come to is the uh, standard Goose Island 312 wheat ale glass, so let's. Uh, Put one thing down so I can open a can in front of the camera. And try to get a nice angle on this so I don't pour up too much head. Otherwise I'll have to keep talking about it while I watch the head go down. And there we are, yes. Uh, I may, maybe I needed to wash the glass out a little more. There's probably some dust in it. Um, but uh, So there's a nice big kind of a yellowish uh, head to it. And uh, this is more of a, a spicy uh, coriander smell. Sometimes you can expect to get uh, banana notes to it, but uh, this is a little different, I think. And let's see if we can top off a little more brew so we can get a nice sip out of it. Now I'm getting a little bit more of the uh, uh, banana and uh, clove as well uh, to this. They're not overly done, so it kind of nicely uh, sits back. It's kind of the things that make this a lighter uh, summer beer, which is why we have it in the summer, I guess. I've almost gotten down to the beer here. Let's uh, just pour out a little bit more of this. So a lot of the uh, character of a uh, Hefeweizen might be a little more exaggerated in uh, some other versions of the beer. But this does hold back. Uh, it's not going to hit you over the head with it. It's not too sweet. So there's a little bit of hop uh, taking care of the malt flavor, which is uh, just generally toasty like a uh, regular German light lager. But uh, a little bit of the spice that comes from the wheat malt and from the yeast, and a little bit of uh, the fruit, as I said, the banana for the most part, but it's not really obvious. If I didn't think to look for banana, I may not have even noticed it, but uh, that's also a consequence of a slightly warmer weather ferment than a German lager. But a very uh, sturdy example of the style. I think uh, it's a great introduction to uh, Hefeweizen's. Some others may want a little bit more of uh, all the character that they're looking for. Uh, this is just kind of a nice way to get started on it. Uh, once again, it is the uh, Munich Polaner Hefeweizen from Germany. And uh, this was again sent to me for my comment. And uh, I think it's uh, worth finding. And this is Mark, your one-take beer reviewer. The guy at Bureaunaut.com saying Prost. Now don't